Good morning, everyone. We're off to Universal today to go to the celebration of Harry Potter. We're pretty dang excited today because we won a contest on Twitter to be part of the social media gathering. It was frightening for the celebration of Harry Potter. So I'm just here this early to go and get all of our packets and stuff like that, or passes and all that other good stuff. Then I'm gonna go home and get Jen, and then we'll come back. Has he done slide the guns? No. And then we'll come back and do all of the stuff later on this afternoon. So Universal sure is pretty first thing in the morning. Yeah, costume guidelines. So by the way, the walls are down around the concierge desk. That was fast. Wow, look at that. NASCAR Cafe, still looking exactly the same. I like this. Now I got my little like packet of stuff and everybody's arriving, but I'm, I'm gonna go home and get Jen and get some breakfast and some coffee. And then we'll head back after we're done. We gotta edit the video and stuff too. So we will be back shortly. Ah, Florida. What a difference a few hours will make, right? Like, it was beautiful this morning, and now look at it. If there's anything that screams celebration of Harry Potter, it's Shakira blasting on your way in. Shakira, Shakira. No fighting. What, like, all of Universal is a hot set today? That's pretty awesome. All right. Let's see, we're gonna go in here to the Harry Potter Expo. Yeah. And I got all these big screens that say celebration of Harry Potter. Lots of big speakers too. It looks like the sorting hat is outside this year. There's oh, the sorting see hat. Let's see. Hat has to say. Ah, yes, a ready mind. You belong in Ravenclaw. Oh, she's Yay. Lots and lots of costumes already. Oh, wow. Oh, Puff, Slyth Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Gryffindor. Pretty neat. Big line to do, I think, pictures in front of all like the the big props. Here's the big wall that you can sign and say how Harry Potter has affected you. You can look like you're riding Buckbeak, which is fun. Or you could be uh, fighting a Dementor. You can look like you're at a table in the uh, the dining hall of Hogwarts. Do you think they have prop wands or do you have to bring your own wand? I think they brought their own wand. Oh, man. Just kidding, it was a prop wand. Case full of all kinds of props from the movie. These are all from the, uh, the UK. And they're from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Voldemort's wand, Bellatrix dagger, Death Eater mask, Hagrid's umbrella, Harry Potter's wand, the Elder wand. You see the time turner? Yeah, it's awesome. Costume worn by Daniel Radcliffe in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Pretty awesome. It's still got like blood on the collar and everything. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's a whole stack of uh, Horcruxes. That's pretty awesome. There's Tom Riddle's diary, Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem. This is pretty awesome. Ah, pretty gross on the inside. Bellatrix Lestrange. Snake. Lucius Malfoy. He's creepy looking. Look at that face on him. Look at the leather work on the hat. This Mina Lima, they are the ones that did all of the like paperwork for Harry Potter and some of the props too. So you can see they've got some of the paper up here. Looks like it's all for sale too. And they've got all kinds of scenes from the movie showing like what they did. Lots of stuff for sale, stationery and all kinds of other stuff too. These are all like postcards. This one's awesome. Everything that's for sale here is also for sale online on their store, and there's their store. And then of course the Expo Hall would not be complete without a Harry Potter store. With all the Harry Potter stuff you would ever want. A lot of like cool props, suitcases and a birdcage. Oh, this is neat. Well, that's the, I think that's a set of books. All this stuff comes, oh, it's the DVDs, it's the Blu-rays. Oh, Blu-ray cool. special edition set right there. Can I touch it? I think so, all those Blu-rays down here come in it. Wow, that's awesome. And I think all of this stuff actually comes in it. I wonder how much it is. Uh, yeah, 450 bucks. I love this. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. The Lumping Willows and everything on the front of Hogwarts. That looks and awesome. then Hogwarts Burning. Well, I don't like that one. I like this one. <laughs> they have a table back here that's full of all these like Harry Potter guidebooks that have to stay on the table. But they kind of show, tell you some more information about some of the stuff that's in here. Yeah, see? Here's Dumbledore's desk. Pretty awesome desk. I do work at it. I don't know, the chair doesn't look very comfortable though. The case full of props like Skelgro and the Hogshead Brew, Wizard's Chest. I like how down here on the bottom shelf, there's just this bar of gold. 
from Gringotts. Oh, all of this stuff is all props from the Wizarding World here at Universal. We just took all of our pictures here where it's like a, a GIF that's three pictures and then you can send it, you can tweet it, you can put it on Instagram, you can email it to yourself, or you can uh, put it on Twitter or Facebook. It's a company called Giffen. Here's what Jen's looks like. Oh, you did a point too, I did a point. Oh, this is awesome. Really like this Tales of Beetle the Bar. We were gonna get sorted, but uh, we decided it started drizzling on us, so we might come back and do that after the sky clears up. Even though there was a 0% chance of rain today, we're gonna play it safe. Didn't bring any umbrellas or anything. Some people right there are like doing light measurements in the middle of the road for maybe filming. The weather's so weird today, like it's raining right now, but the sun's out, but it's like really windy. Bizarre. And of course, because we're here for celebration of Harry Potter, there's only one place to go, and that's Diagon Alley. Oh, it's like uh, opening week. Yeah. Pretty nuts in here. It's quite a change in the amount of people on the like over here compared to the main drag. Like there's nobody over here. This is actually pretty amazing. There's a Harry Potter celebration going on and Gringotts is only 30 minutes. I've showed you guys her going off so many times. I want to show you guys a crowd reaction to her going off. poop on the bottom down there. Jeez Louise. You poop a lot, Mr. Owl. Look at him breathing. Yeah, man, this is my headshot. <laughs> this is my headshot coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it's video. Yeah, oh, it's video? Uh, so yeah. What is that? Oh, wizarding pictures. You know? Yeah, like moving pictures. Oh, 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 okay, that's right. I forget muggles like to switch them up. Right. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, the Barker is out right now to tease, tell people how to get into Di Diagon Alley. But when we stopped to take a picture with the night bus driver, somebody walked up to Paul and asked him for directions on how to get into Diagon Alley. Right. They moved uh, Jake and Elwood over here on the stage that's for the uh, Mardi Gras performers, like the little Zydeco band that plays out here during Mardi Gras. People have already picked out their spots for, they're gonna show the movie in the park and they're also gonna do like the opening ceremonies here, which ought to be pretty awesome. Heading out of Universal Studios to go get some lunch. I think we're gonna hit up Red Oven Pizza. Guys, we've got a new pet. His name's Steve. He's got a funny foot and we feel bad for him. Also, here comes Harry. They're like having a turf war. So, Harry also has a funny foot. But we like Steve better. So oh goodness. Recharging the batteries, recharging our tummy tums <laughs> with some caprese salad. caprese salad and a prosciutto and arugula pizza. Yum, 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 yum. They started showing, I know you guys can't see it because of the like anti glare covering on it, but they started showing the first movie from Harry Potter series. We waited in line, but it was taking just entirely too long. So I'm just going to show you guys what, what it what is. What do you think would make you a great Slytherin? Yes, a ready mind. You belong in Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. The hat must have been able to see your good grades. All right, we're not going to be able to see all of the opening ceremonies, but we came over here to see some of it. We have to go and do the social media thing at six, and this is from 5:30 to six.
our 2015 opening night event. If you love Harry Potter, make some noise! Alright, so let's do a little roll call before we get things going. Do we have any Slytherin here this evening? How about Ravenclaws? Hufflepuffs? And of course, where are the Gryffindors? Now, of course, we can't forget about the Muggles. Any Muggles here with us this evening? Yeah. Muggles? So oh, there's a few. Some brave hands going up in the air. How many of you came out to the event last year? Make some noise. Yeah. Well, that is awesome, and we're definitely happy to say that we brought back some of your favorites from last year and added some brand new content as well. First, we have the Expo, located at Soundstage 33. It's jam-packed with lots of new activities for fans of all ages. We've got Q&A sessions with film talent and other special guests right here at the Music Plaza stage that you don't want to miss. Are you guys ready to get this party started and make some noise out there? Yes! Let's kick things off. We'd like to introduce some of our very special guests all the way from London. Please welcome Alex King from Pottermore, which continues to delight us all with J.K. Rowling's brand, new writing from the Wizarding World, Alex. Can you tell us a little bit about the Pottermore booth at the Expo? What's going on there this weekend? Um, well, this weekend is all about showing and sharing your house pride. Um, as many of you probably know, there's a sorting ceremony on Baltimore, which um, the questions were de devised by J.K. Rowling himself, and we take that sorting hat test to find out which Hogwarts house you truly belong to. And so we want people to come down to the Baltimore booth, displaying your house colours, and stand in front of your house common room to have your photo taken. So you tell us what's new with the Studio Tour London booth this year. Well, we're really excited to be back with all these amazing fans. Uh, what we're trying to do is just give them a snapshot of everything that's offered at the Studio Tour. So first of all, we're reminding them all that we are the home of the Harry Potter film series, and that's where all the films took place. We had to leave early because we have to get back to our social media thing, but at least you guys got to see a little bit of it, right? Our first stop is in Diagon Alley, and we're walking there right now. Look at how beautiful it is. We also found out that the park closes at 6, so everybody else is getting getting moved out while we're still walking in. We're right underneath the dragon. They're starting to push all the security guards over to us, and we're staying in the middle here because we got to get a picture with the dragon. Yeah, they're bringing out the big lights. Yeah, I feel like I feel like a model. He's bringing out a ladder. He's taking away the ladder. Some people come up. It's awesome. Hey, thank you, everybody. Yes. Now we're gonna get a nice little tour of the marble room. All right, we're ready for another picture with Alan Gilmore, and then we'll be able to introduce This is Alan Gilmore. I'm from Warner Brothers on the movie team. So I work at Universal Creation, where the design team of Universal. Shush. Multi issues here. We, my job was to work on a team to turn this into a big place. So I built the movie set originally. The dragon just went off again. The movie team in London were very, very involved. That's kind of why this worked out so well. Because this is an exact replica of the movie sets. If you go to London and see the movie sets, this is it. Except we built everything here. And it's a real building, so it's quite exciting to have a chance to do this. A Diagon Alley in London is only 20 feet high for a movie set. It goes all the way up here in Orlando, so it's the most complete Diagon Alley anywhere. And it's a fabulous space, as you can all say, it's great. It's the most immersive ever. Yeah. About how long did it take? To uh, three years from start to finish. Um, it started off in Orlando. The, the University of Orlando came up with the idea of doing the expansion, the second Harry Potter. So they worked out where to put it, so where Jaws used to be, right below us now. So Jaws is under us somewhere. That poor guy. <laughs> and then they, they involved us in London. So we, we reassembled. We reassembled the whole movie. <laughs> 
we, we built a team of 100 people in London, so all the movie designers came back together. Uh, Stuart Craig was the main movie designer. He actually created all of this originally for the films, so he helped us finish it off. And Mina Lee, who you're going to meet soon, you know, designed all the graphics, and they're fabulous. So it's a really cool team of very interesting people. Our references come from many places, so it's a very exciting journey to have gone from movie world to real life. And we're hoping this is the future for theme parks, that more and more movies are involved with theme parks, and you can get this extra level of detail where you're completely immersed. Because really, this, this is the future. Now, we're also used to amazing gadgets, amazing movies, games. This is the way to be in those games and those places. So we set the challenge and everybody with Harry Potter. We hope there's more to come. So where do you where does the movie set stop? You say? Movie sets would normally stop in about 20 feet, at like the height of a sound stage, a movie sound stage, and then the rest is out of my computer. So we can't do that here. We have to build it for real. So that's actually the good thing for me because I like building sets. All the marble came from London. We created marble in great London painting technique. And the digital scanning and printing, we created these marble columns and marble walls. So this is exactly what the film set has. Every single detail. There's over 20,000 pistols in this film here, and all different sizes. It's very, very detailed. Okay, guys, have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. I'm Mira for Romina. I'm Eduardo Lima. And we're Mina Lima. So, and also you're familiar now with the park that we did quite a lot of work on out there. And even down here, when you go down the end, you can see the goblin armor. That's a good example of how the work of the graphic designer can extend from being something on paper to something on a three dimensional form. So, the, the work that we did for the park was quite extensive. Also, the, um, the wand Medallion. medallions in the streets. So, I noticed that so you guys uh, did the Marauders map, right? Were you heavily involved with that? Yes. Uh, what about the animation on Marauder's map in the movie? We designed all of the, the graphic elements. So anything that was a moving element would be completely taken on by the visual effects department. And they would have a, the physical paper they would have on set would have a green screen panel. Um, so you see Harry holding like this massive yeah, green square. <laughs> <laughs> and after all that we got to ride the ride and it was awesome. As always, it was a good ride. My favorite thing is to ride it with people who have never ridden it and a lot of the people that were in there had never ridden it and it was really cool to see their reactions. They really liked it. And then we got some butter beer too. We have to leave now. But there's still like, a, like an opening night party. I guess you, if you had the hotel package you could be part of the opening night party. There's all the people coming in for the after party or the opening night party. This is fun. Everything's closed. I missed it. There was like a little kitty cat here. I think he's around the other side maybe. Oh man, we missed the cat. Oh, there he is. Do you guys see this cat of Universal? Wow. Good times. Empty Springfield. Look at this. Look at it just empty. All the lights still on. I think it's awesome. Thank you for visiting Park Hours Undefined. I like that because we're still here. We're leaving all the TVs and everything are on too. So wait, we're here, we can watch Game of Thrones in IMAX? What? What episode? Finally back home after a most enjoyable day at Universal. Make sure you check out our Twitter and our Instagram feeds because it may have been hard to see in the video, but James and Oliver Phelps showed up and Ivana Lynch showed up too. We took selfies with them, but it was hard to, like there were so many people trying to get pictures with them and everything, I didn't want to like stick another camera in their face while they were taking pictures with other people. So we took our selfies and then I tried to film a little bit of them like out and about. So hopefully you guys could see that, but it was pretty awesome. It was amazing that that happened. And there's actually one point where I was trying to take a selfie of the entire group and they were like running out and the selfie turned out super blurry because I was like, what's happening? But it was fun. It was a good night, but it's time for bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price.